So one hand washes the other, both wash the face. A metaphor for life and helping out each other to achieve greater things. And it's also a metaphor for setting up a really cleanly designed watch face for your shiny new Galaxy watch. And my aim with this video is to help you do that. So I spent several days, minutes, hours, seconds, searching the web for 10 of the very best free digital watch faces. And I've got a feeling that some of these you probably didn't know even existed. And if you guys are into more classic analog style watch faces, I made a dedicated video for my top 10 free analog watch faces as well. I'll share that at the end. But right now, let's digitize your Galaxy with my top 10 free digital watch faces. Okay, let's kick this off with one of my favorite watch faces when it comes to digital watches. This one's called AWF Wave. You can download it directly from the Play Store. The AWF in the title stands for AMOLED Watch Faces. That's the name of the developer. Once you install it, you'll be prompted to install it on your Wear device. Just tap that and it automatically adds it to the watch. And as you know, to change watch faces on the watch, you just hold down your finger on the watch face that's on the screen at the time and then you can swipe left and right to find it. When it comes to customization of this watch face, you can actually change the mesh texture in the background. So if you hold your finger down, go to customize. By swiping up and down, we could change the background. If we swipe across, you can see all of the other elements of this watch that can be customized. So we can customize the hands. We can customize the always on style. We can customize the color and the complications. I really like that sweeping kind of radar style second hand on this display. The always on display also looks pretty damn awesome. And the fact that you don't have to pay a penny to customize all of the features on this watch face is one of the reasons why this is one of my favorites. Test it out and let me know what you think. So scrolling between watch faces on the watch can be done, but it's far easier to do it here on the phone. And for this next one, you're definitely gonna to wanna to use your phone and I'll show you why. So in order to get this next watch face, which I think you're gonna like, you need to install this app on your phone first. It's called Facer Watch Faces. Then once you've installed it on your phone, if you swipe up on your watch, and go to the Play Store and then tap the section that says apps on your phone. In this list, you will find the Facer Watch Faces app. Just install it on your watch as well. Once installed on both devices, you can go to the Galaxy Wearable app and choose the Facer icon here. That loads the Facer Watch Face to the watch. So if you like Nike trainers, then you're gonna love this watch face from Facer. It's called Nike Watch 2022. Yes, this is a third party app, but it is verified by Google, so it's safe to use. The easiest way to find it is actually to go to the Facer app on your phone, go to the Explore tab here and type in Nike Watch 2022. And you'll see the search feature on this app is actually really quite bad. So you're gonna have to scroll for a while until you find it. But doing so, you'll probably discover a bunch of other watch faces that you like in the process because there are thousands of them. Check out this one here. At this point in time, when I'm filming this video, this watch face is actually in the top three watch face section on the app itself. So we scroll down somewhere here. And if anyone from Facer is watching this video, please sort out the search functionality on your app. So here we go, it's by this gentleman here, Richard. Night Watch 2022. Once you've discovered it, a good way to find your way back is actually to tap on the developer's name and follow that developer. And then see this little icon here, you tap that, that will send it to the Facer tile on your watch. So as you can see, this one's modeled on the very popular Apple Night collaboration, similar to what we see on Apple watches, and it's really quite well thought out. It's got battery life, heartbeat, step count, they're all there. One downside to this Night Watch 2022 is the face isn't customizable at all. So you need to ask yourself the question, do you need it to be? And one thing that I really like about this watch face is the always on display. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, on the Samsung watch, it's known as the ambient display. That's when you're not using the watch and it kind of goes into a low power mode, but kind of stays on at the same time. And if this ambient always on feature is completely new to you, the way to enable it on the Galaxy watch is to swipe down from the top. See that icon there in the middle of the little watch. If you tap that, that toggles it on and off. So I always leave it on. It depends on the watch face you're gonna use, but with watch faces like this, it's quite efficient. So you can leave it on with this one and not worry too much about the battery. So if you're the type of person who's thinking about trying to go for a run, just do it. There is no try. Now, if you kind of like that Nike Apple style, but want more functionality, more customizable features, 
then this one, Samsung's own digital neon, is one of the best out there. It's bright, it's colorful, it's simplistic, but it's also got some functional complications here on the display. You can, of course, customize this here on the watch, but why do that when we've got a big screen to customize it on? So we can change the color between five different colors. We've got complications, there's three of them across the bottom of the watch face, and these can be mapped to whatever you want within the device user interface. So let's say media control, um, messages, and phone. Once we hit save, you can see updates immediately on the watch. The great thing about these complications is they are shortcuts. So if you're more into health tracking, then you might want to use like steps and beats per minute and stuff like that. If you're more into usability features like messaging and phone calls and media controls, you can tailor this watch to your own use case. And the always on display is pretty slick. It doesn't strip back any of the important data that you might have pinned to the screen, but it might not be the most battery efficient ambient display because of the colors and the amount of detail on screen, but it's a nice one. So this watch face right here is called the Digital Striker. You can download it directly from the Play Store. The best way to get this is to download it to your phone first. So look for Digital Striker Watch Face by Rich Face here, install it. Once it's installed, swipe up on your watch and go to the Play Store here and you'll see this section called apps on your phone. If you tap that, the Digital Striker watch face will be in this list. That's the easiest way to install it. So this watch face has everything you need. Of course, it's got the time. It's also got battery life, weather and date and the color is customizable. And if you go premium with this one, you can even activate a ton more features. But honestly, the free version of this one is so awesome. I don't think you need to change it that much. But if you do go premium, you can add shortcuts to the watch face. You can customize the complications and other things like that. And there is an ambient mode on this, which is quite nice. And it can be reconfigured within the app as well. This is quite a military style watch face and I do like this one. Okay, so here's another one from Facer. And just to recap and show you guys what I was speaking about earlier about how to switch between Facer watch faces. You don't do it the normal way where you hold your finger down and switch back and forwards. You tap the Facer watch face three times. That opens up the Facer watch faces in its own sort of sub menu. And then you can load up the new watch faces. So this is a fresh looking watch face. This is called the JN18 Aquamarine. Aquamarine doesn't have a space in the middle. And once again, thanks to Face's absolutely amazingly bad search tool, this is actually quite tricky to find. So I have found a workaround for you guys. So if you go to the explore and here, just type in JN. Don't bother typing in Aquamarine because it won't show up. Look for a watch face that's made by JN, like this first one. This is a pretty awesome watch face, but it is a paid one. And then here where his name shows up, just tap on that. And then you can follow the creator again, just like before. But to find this particular watch face, you scroll down to where it says watch faces and hit the more at the side here. This is every watch face that this creator has made. And the free ones are at the bottom. So if we scroll all the way down and then slowly scroll up until you find this particular watch face, which is JN18 Aquamarine. Here it is. So once you've found it, all you need to do is hit the little blue icon here. That will send it to the Facer watch face on your watch. So this watch face, of course, has the time, the date, the weather, steps, beats per minute, watch battery, all on display at the same time. When it comes to customization, that aqua color is fixed. The only thing you can really change here is the 24 hour clock to a 12 hour clock. You can also change the measurements from metric to imperial. The ambient display on this one is really nice. And because it's black and white, it's quite energy efficient. And the key data points at the bottom of the screen stay on the screen. They're not stripped out when it goes to the always on mode. Okay, so Aquamarine is kind of that classic digital style timepiece. This next one is more modern and ideal for you if you wanna keep it fresh and simple. This is a stock Samsung Galaxy wearable face. It's called Color Pie and who doesn't like pie? So this one really isn't that hard to find, but it's very easy to overlook. In the Samsung Galaxy wearable app, go to the graphical section and find this one, the color pie. It's a simple design, no complications, no clutter. The colors change on their own. You can't customize them. There is an always on watch face, which just basically dims the color and freezes the second hand. And I do like this one. It kind of has that 3D quality to it. The second hand kind of looks like it's rising up from beneath the surface, almost as if there's a canvas over the screen. And although this might seem 
really basic on the surface. Just remember when you swipe up, you can still unlock the full potential of the Galaxy Watch. So all of the complexity of the smartwatch is still there at your fingertips. It's just the display this basic and simple. So this watch face is for you if you don't want all the complications in your life. And I'm sure a lot of you already knew that. So you already know how to navigate Facer. It is difficult, but the name of this one is Gray hyphen tech X1. So you can search for that within the Facer app. And the reason I like this particular one is because it's got this kind of 80s, 90s retro style kind of LCD Casio display. And by the way, the spelling of gray is G-R-A-Y, not G-R-E-Y, <laughs> just to make things even easier. So this one is complete with all the bells and whistles. I particularly like the digital compass at the top, so where it says North, Northwest. And as you can see, when we tilt it around, it changes at the top of the screen. So you always know which way you're going. And if you look carefully at this one, there are little blocks around the outer circle, and this represents battery life. And on display on this watch face is also the day in the year, as well as the normal date, the location, the wind direction, kilometers, miles, steps, heart rate, phone battery life indicator, and watch battery life indicator. And of course, right at the center, we've got the time. And do you know what time I think it is? I think it's time for you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're getting any value out of this video. Anyway, I like this one, the Grey Tech X1 from Facer. It's pretty advanced, but at the same time, it's pretty old school and there really isn't much customization to do on this particular watch face. But just like before, when you swipe up from the bottom, you unlock the full potential of the watch. Okay, let's go from that old school watch to something more new school. This one right here is called the Venom watch face. And this is one of my favorite free watch faces that you can get on the Google Play Store. But disclaimer though, this is what's known as a freemium watch face. So most of the features are available for free. The upgraded features you do have to pay for, but honestly, I don't think you will need to. If you do go premium with this one, you can upgrade and unlock interactive complications that can be customized on the watch face. And you can customize the look and feel just a little bit more. But even without those upgrades, check this out. You can customize the main color to whatever you want. Let's go light blue. You can even go custom with that color as well, if you like. You can customize the second color. So it's kind of a gradient color scheme here. So let's go green with that one. So we've got blue and green. Far too bright. I actually preferred the other color setup I had before. And then the text color as well, you can change that. So right now it's kind of washed out by the light colors. Let's make it a dark color, like a gray. That looks awesome now. So one of the reasons this is one of the best watches and the reason I say you probably don't need to upgrade is because if you notice around the edges of the display, we've got some text and those are actually shortcuts to apps within the watch. So as you can see, we've got timer, stopwatch, alarm and flashlight. So if you tap one of those, it activates that feature on the watch. So honestly, this one is pretty damn epic. And I should tell you, I believe the Venom watch face has maybe the best ambient display out of all of the watch faces I've found so far. It's kind of like an Iron Man arc reactor. And if you know of any other watch faces that have a better always on display than this one, let me know in the comments below. So let's step it up a bit now with one of Samsung's own homegrown watch faces. This is probably the most beautiful of all. So to get the flower watch face on your watch, go to the Samsung Galaxy wearable app, search for the flower watch face. I believe it's in the graphical section. Once you've done that, tap it, goes to the watch. Now this is where it gets interesting. When we go to customize here on the phone, there are three different flowers to choose from. They're all animated. I personally think the first one's the best one. You can change the clock style between digital and analog. And analog actually looks really quite nice. But because this is the digital video, we're gonna keep it on digital. Now this is where it gets very interesting. So this simple looking watch face can actually be pretty advanced. So there are actually four complications we can configure and they look awesome once you do. So let me set that up now. Let's go complication one, let's set that as compass. Let's go complication two, let's set that as barometer. Let's go three, battery life, and then four, let's do a health one, let's do heart rate, and then hit save. And now you can see how that's added it to the outer circle on the watch face. And these are interactive shortcuts as well as key data points that you might wanna keep an eye on. So to me, this is a fantastic combination of beauty and functionality all in one. And I do believe this one might be the perfect watch face for some of you out there. But this one may be more so 
for the ladies. So in exactly the same way we set up that last one, you can set up this one if you're into fitness. This is called Samsung's Health Dashboard Plus. It's on the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. And if the main reason you're wearing the Galaxy Watch is for fitness, then this is gonna be ideal for you. Again, if you wanna customize it, you can do it on the phone, you can do it on the watch. There really isn't that much to change here. So there's three colors. You got the kind of blue, purple, you got pink for the ladies, and you got the green, yellow combination, which kind of matches the channel colors. So that's the one I'm using here. And although you can't remap the shortcuts or anything like that, this one has been well thought out. And actually there are hidden interactive widgets here on the screen. So see where the little heart is up in the top right corner. We tap that, that brings us to our daily stats. And as you can see, I've been very busy today. And then the workout button at the center is a quick shortcut to all of the workouts on the watch. You can then scroll through those and start a workout from your watch face. In terms of information on the watch, you have quick access to the time, date, weather, steps, UV, and something that I like a lot about this watch face is the always on display. So this watch face right here is called the Pixel Minimal by Benoit Letador. And I might have said that wrong, but this is one of my favorite watch faces. It may look simple on the face of things, but you should never judge a book or watch face by its cover. And I'm about to show you why. So in order to install this one, search the Google Play Store for Google Pixel Minimal Face. Make sure it's from this developer, Benoit. Once it's installed, hit open. And then at the bottom, you can just tap this button here to install it to your watch. You don't need to mess around searching for things on the actual watch itself. So this is actually part of a pack of watch faces. And this is the Pixel Minimal one. And there is actually a ton of customization and tweaks that are completely free to this watch face. To customize it, hold down on the watch face, go to customize. You can see I've selected the Android 12 style. If you deselect that, the numbers become kind of hollow on the home screen. You can opt to have the Wear OS logo on the home screen. You can change the watch format. You can change the size of the text, as well as the time color, the date color, and also the color on the outside ring, which is the second hand. And you can hide that ring on the outside as well if you want to. And as we scroll down, there's even more stuff to mess around with. So I suggest you guys get this one tested out and see what you think about it. If you're rocking a Google Pixel phone, I think you're gonna like this one. And if you do wanna complicate this minimalistic watch face a bit more, upgrade to the premium, and then you can add a bunch of widgets that are interactive to the watch face. But for some of you, you wanna keep it basic. But for others, spending a little cheddar might actually make this watch face better for you. All right, as Super Mario would say, let's -a go. And if you just subscribed, Super Mario would say, woohoo. I can't do Super Mario voice, apologize. But here's a bonus one for you guys, and it's from Facer. This is one of the rare occasions where the search bar actually works. So the watch face we're looking for here is the NES Mario Walker. That's this first one here. So we can tap that, hit the little blue icon at side to send it to the watch. So this is a bonus watch face for you guys. And I love this one. So various characters from the Mario games will scroll across the screen throughout the day. And the sky will actually change colors from day to night throughout the day as well. At the top, you'll see the time. And that number at the bottom is your step counter. And like most retro games, there is an Easter egg to be discovered here on this watch face. And to find out what that Easter egg does, you will need to walk 10,000 steps in one day. So download this one, do the 10,000 steps, and let me know what happens. And now it's time to fade to black and check out this epic, always on display, on the NES Mario Walker watch face from Facer. You gotta love it. And if you guys really wanna see what the Easter egg is, without having to do the 10,000 steps, you could kind of sellotape this to your washing machine or something and put it on a spin cycle. That might do it. And honestly, guys, I can't believe I've literally just now discovered this in the making of this video. This is the Metal Gear Solid Codec watch face on Facer. How awesome is that? So anyway, check out my analog watch faces. I'll see you over there. And if you do that now, I'll see you in the next one. So don't be late.